As of the day of me recording this video, it is 20 days till the launch of Modern Warfare 2. And normally at this point, I'd be pretty excited for the upcoming Call of Duty game. And normally I'm like, yo, Call of Duty, brand new one. I love that stuff, cannot wait. But this year round, I'm just like, um, uh, I don't know, man. The, the launch is going to come around and it's going to be something. And honestly, I think the launch of Modern Warfare 2 might just go down as the worst launch for a Call of Duty game in the history of ever. And I know when I say this, I'm going to get two immediate reactions. I'm going to get the people who hate Infinity War games saying that, of course it is, it sucks. Infinity War doesn't know how to make a game. This game looks so bad. And of course, no one's going to be hyped for it. So the launch is going to be terrible. Then you have the people who really love Infinity War games are saying, what are you talking about? You're such an idiot. I'm so hyped for this game. And millions of other people love this game. Did you not see the hype around Modern Warfare 2019? You're an idiot. And honestly, that doesn't matter. Because the reason I think the launch of this game is going to be so bad has nothing to do with the actual quality of this game. This game could turn out to be the greatest game of all time or the worst game of all time and won't change the fact that the launch is just going to be so underwhelming. And the reason I think this is the case is because what is there new to experience on launch date? Like, what is there? I mean, normally what people jump on when they play a brand new Call of Duty game is, you know, multiplayer. Can't wait for that. But we kind of already played the beta, which the beta was so close to launch. It's probably just a demo. So it gave us a really good idea of what we were going to get. Like, sure, there's going to be a ton more maps on launch and a ton more guns, a ton more attachments and stuff like that, which that's fun. I'm sure people are excited for that. But how excited can you really be for that when you really already have a good idea of what the multiplayer is going to be from the beta? Like, I mean, what's there to really be super excited about in this multiplayer? Like, we all have a pretty good idea of what it's going to be. Again, sure, there is some things to be hyped about, but it's not like being super hyped about this multiplayer, right? So, of course, this leads us to look to other aspects of the games that we could potentially be excited about. And, um you know a uh, campaign yo people really like the modern warfare 2019 campaign i mean uh, that, that was fun so a ton of people should be excited for this one and the problem with that is that call of duty is doing a thing this year and they're letting people play the campaign a week early if they pre-order the game digitally and what this means is that millions of players are going to have already experienced the campaign in its entirety before the game even comes out before launch date and even worse so, all the content and all the online hype is already going to be uploaded and a whole week old by the time launch comes too. So the online hype is also not even going to be there for the campaign. So of course these two things alone leave the launch in a very weird place. But believe it or not, there is still one more mode that is going to be available on launch for Modern Warfare 2. And honestly, believe it or not, it actually might end up being the most played one on launch solely because it's the only new experience we're going to have. And what that is, it's Spec Ops. And I mean, I don't know about you guys, but personally, I don't think Spec Ops could carry a launch of a game. Zombies could 100%. If this was Zombies instead of Spec Ops, it 100% could. Like, a lot of people really like Zombies, myself included. But Spec Ops ain't like that. Spec Ops can't even clean the shoes of Zombies, right? Like, it really isn't like that. It's not going to carry the launch of this game. And unfortunately, that is what it seems like Infinity Ward is asking it to do. Like, it's asking Spec Ops to carry the launch of this game and there's just no way that's happening. Like Spec Ops just is not a mode like that. Most people who play Spec Ops, if they even do, will only play like one or two missions and then never play it again. So to me, I just don't know what there is going to be for the launch of this game. I mean, even other things that people are excited about that are kind of tied to this game, but kind of not really is like Warzone 2 and DMZ, but that's not happening at the launch of this game either, right? I mean, those aren't happening until November 16th, like two whole weeks after the actual game comes out. So this explains exactly why I'm pretty concerned about the launch of this game, because the only new experience we're going to have is Spec Ops. And that's just not it, guys. So really, to me, what I see this launch going down as is just the most eh launch ever. Regardless, though, that's everything I have to say. And uh, I'd love to hear what you guys think about this whole situation. Do you guys 
agree with me that, uh, you know, the launch is going to be a humongous L, even if the game isn't an L, but the launch is definitely going to be an L. Or do you guys actually think there's going to be a lot of hype around the launch of this game? Let me know down in the comment sections below. Regardless, though, that's going to wrap it up for me. If you guys did enjoy the video, I would appreciate if you guys dropped the like, subscribe, bell, share, and all that great stuff. But I'm going to go. I'll catch you guys extreme video or whatever the heck it may be. And uh, laters, guys.